Um, welcome to another video. Uh, as the title has probably already told you, um, this I'll be sharing some of my tips and tricks on how to defeat the final boss in Ghost Simulator. Um, for those of you that don't know what the final boss is and are going to uh, for sure ask a question somewhere in the comments, um, it is the fourth world that you can unlock after completing the back door, um, which is unlocked after Ghost World, which is unlocked after Main Hub, uh, etc. Um, in Ghost Simulator, so it does take a little bit of grinding to get to, but once you get to it, you kind of, kind of, you have to do it. So a lot of, I see a lot of people complaining that either it's too difficult, or they don't know how to do it, or they need help. And those are actually fair complaints. I've tried it recently on mobile, and I've noticed that it is actually a lot harder than what I would have thought um, to complete it there, even with all my perks, um, which most people don't even have. So. Um, with that considered, I figured I might as well go make a video to share some of the ways that I usually defeat the final boss uh, the, as efficiently as I do. Now the first thing that you need to know before we start the fight, and I start sharing you your hints, is that you are going to lag. The final boss in Ghost Simulator is quite laggy, like the rest of Roblox in Ghost Simulator. Um, so there are going to be lag issues, um, something will break. Um, the key is to know how to either fix or deal with the lag. Um, the most common lag thing that you'll get is uh, models not loading. This includes the ghosts that the um, final boss will spawn, the pillars around, and also the the shield of the boss not disappearing. All those models can not loading or not unloading can easily be fixed by just zooming in all the way into first person. That usually loads them back. Uh, if not, uh, usually you can still know where they are and can avoid them or shoot at them as needed. Uh, but just be aware that the game that the final boss is quite laggy in that respect. Um, the next thing that you need to know as we get into it is that the beginning you kind of have a choice here. Uh, most people just vote to skip. Um, if you are new to the final boss, as I said, models not loading. Um, you might actually want to not vote to skip both because then you can see this dialogue um, and also because by vote voting to skip um, The boss needs to come down first before firing an attack. So basically it starts firing an attack at you instantly um, Whereas if you don't vote to skip you have a little bit of time to uh, move around before it starts to attack um, Which can both cause an issue if it does a uh, movement attack it can get stuck up either um, if it does that jump attack, it can actually get stuck up on top of the map um, and not come down until it does a, the movement attack. Um, or if it does something that like instantly targets you, it can be quite annoying -ing by just instantly hitting you right off the bat if you aren't paying any attention. So just bear that in mind if you for people who are voting to skip. Um, as I said earlier, Final Boss is incredibly laggy. So. Um, just get used to playing with lag. Um, even if you are on a good device like me, most people consider me on a good device, it is still laggy for me. And as you can see, zooming in isn't fixing any of these model loading issues or not quickly. Um, so you still have to be aware of that. Um, attacks will hit you a lot more often if you're lagging. Um, but yeah, there is a, uh, the next thing that you want to be aware of is just keep shooting these pillars when you can. Um, the if you even if you're getting hit by everything as long as you just keep shooting a pillar when you can um, It will make the boss go by as quick as possible um, As I said again lag doesn't help that I'm recording but yeah, uh, just keep shooting at these pillars uh, another thing is if you to help with uh, dodging attacks um, while shooting always try to keep the boss in frame or whatever attack it's doing um, so if it so you know what attack is going so you can know what to do to avoid it um, instead of facing away and shooting at the one behind it so that you have your back to it keeping an eye on the boss um, another thing uh, if you do have the overcharge ability which I know some people don't um, you can get a 10% damage by overcharging I know you guys didn't see that um, because lag decided to eat my overcharge um, but it still happened um, you can get a 10% damage when it goes up and does that um, the orb attack by going over to where it is and overcharge it. Um, that's a small little thing that you can do. Um, if you wait, you can also get some of the ghosts to come get overcharged too. Um, but yes, now on to more tips. The next advice I'd have is for this particular attack of where it summons ghosts. When ghosts are summoned, 
Um, it, the boss takes a long time to recover from it, allowing you a lot of free time to just shoot whatever you want. So if you see it doing a summon attack, you can just sort of sit still and continue shooting at something without any need to really worry about getting hit. Since even if you don't have the heavy armor, the ghosts don't actually remove your uh, vacuum, so you can just sit here and shoot even while getting knocked around by them, and it basically allows you to get some free damage without having to worry about avoiding an attack or anything like that. Um, the next attack that we're going to cover is this laser attack. Um, this laser attack is really, really, really annoying um, in multiple ways. The first of which is the fact that the laser will track your movements, so add in adding the velocity of your uh, movement to the um, to its projected uh, sh shot, uh, so it does have a higher chance of hitting you. Um, because of that, it's a really annoying attack, and the fact that it shoots multiple can really just start stunning you for a long periods of time. To avoid this, the best way to do is to just hoverboard around in circles, um, which constantly changes your velocity, um, making it so that none of the lasers actually will hit you. Um, the other attack from there that is also somewhat annoying is the the one where it jumps up and does the orbs. As I said earlier, you can use an overcharge to get some free 10% damage while it does that attack. Um, another attack that most people find very annoying is after you've lost your hoverboard, it starts doing um, the laser attack, which most people think is unavoidable, um, but actually can easily be avoided by just sticking close to the boss. So um, by staying close to the boss, you can actually pretty easily avoid the laser attack. And since all of the other attacks of this boss aren't don't come from the boss itself, like its sword attack rains down uh, swords in a random pattern, um, its uh, lava attack raises platforms in a random pattern, uh, you don't need to really worry about your exact location since um, that you'll have just as much chance of avoiding them being at any location. So you can just chill out near the boss. Um, shoot at its pillars and hopefully be able to avoid a bit more damage by avoiding that laser. And yeah, as I said, lag. During the last stage of the boss, you do lose access to your interface. Um, this doesn't do much on itself, but uh, the last few stages do add a few different attacks that you have to be kind of be aware of. The first of which is this um, jump attack where it jumps three times. Um, it is a little bit random, so you need to be paying a little bit of attention to where you're doing. You can't just move in one direction, um, so doing that. Uh, the another attack that is both really annoying and also doesn't do much is this zoom in attack. Um, one of the ways that I've found really helpful to uh, be able to play through it um, is actually playing in first person during it um, can actually help to uh, alleviate some of the problems with that zoom in. since. The center of your screen is always the center of your screen, so even when you get zoomed in, um, you don't need to worry too much about whether or not uh, you are facing the boss, since if you were facing the boss before you got zoomed in, you're still in where the boss is. Although I know playing in first person is not always the most um, uh, easiest, so playing in third person can also be really helpful. Just try to keep the boss near the center of your screen. The next annoying attack is this freeze attack, which freezes you in place and then instantly comes and joins you. This attack, really, there's no way to avoid, um, and you just kind of have to live with it. Um, and when you when it does happen, just uh, try not to, try not to um, complain too much about it, since it is only a little bit of time loss since the time is frozen, so you don't lose too much time in the grand scheme of finishing off the boss. Um, one of the last attacks um, that this boss does add um, is the uh, its sword attack, um, which swings a sword twice and then bashes it down in the middle. Uh, this is this is actually one of the nicer attacks I feel like of this boss. It since it is decently easily avoidable um, and yet still serves as a somewhat problematic thing. Um, to avoid it, all you need to do is get into the opposite wall of the boss, and instead of being directly away from it, you want to be over somewhat towards like a corner, or I'll show you what it looks like when you get to an attack from it. And here we go. This is the attack, and if you get over all the way into a corner on here, it isn't, either side doesn't really matter. Um, it shouldn't be able to hit you with any of it. The sword is a little bit glitchy, but you could kind of see what is going on. Um, and just by getting into one of the corners, either left or right, um, just not in the middle since the center attack will hit you if you're in the middle um, and far away from it so that the side sweeps don't actually hit. 
Um, and with that, I think that's all you really need to know to defeat the final boss. It can, as I said, be a little bit glitchy, especially if you have a lower quality computer or, like me, are playing on a really hot day and trying to do multiple things like recording at once. Um, so be, be aware of the lag and know how to deal with it. Um, and the last thing I need to do cover before finishing off the boss, um, or actually, after finishing off the boss, uh, once you have the boss finished off, um, there's this nice little trick, um, that once the boss is finished off, you can actually use boss gun. Most people think like, oh, you don't have your inventory. Um, but by clicking on the locked hoverboard over here, it takes you straight into your inventory. Um, so you can access your inventory, come over here to your character, and actually use boss gum if you have it. I do not have it currently. Um, and actually use boss gum to get more more than one or two keys from this boss. So with that being said, that's all the tips and tricks I have to defeat the final boss. Um, hopefully this video is helpful. I know it's so... I, I recorded it a little bit quickly, so it might not be the most helpful video in terms of layout. Um, but it does share a few of the little tips and tricks I use. Um, the main ones being, uh, always keep shooting at something, um, or something helpful. Always keep shooting at a pillar or keep shooting at the boss. Don't worry too much about the attacks, um, that you aren't shooting. Um, just even if you're getting hit by every other attack, you are still on pace to defeat the boss in time. Um, and the other thing being, um, keep, try, try to, try to whenever possible, not to get hit, uh, which kind of seems obvious, um, but there are many things that you can do just beforehand to make sure that you don't get hit from some of the effects. Um, and yeah, just pay attention. And with that, good luck on defeating your final boss, uh, whether you are doing multiple uh, fights in a row to grind out 500 keys like I am, or just doing it once to complete Ancient Blaze like I know many people have trouble doing. Um, and thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys, as I said, found this video helpful. 